And Casey, what are you saying right now? Well, Leslie, Zo, just about 10 minutes ago, Capitol Police tweeted out that they are still investigating and they still want people to stay away from this area and they hope to have more specifics soon. Here's what we can tell you we know so far, and here's what we can show you that we can sort of see. I'm standing here on the east side of the Capitol at 3rd Street, just about a block and a half away, so a block and a half off of the Capitol. We have seen police going in and out of what looks to be some sort of utility or, or transit type van. The one detail we can see from them going in and out of that van is they do not seem to be uh, you know, wearing any extra protective gear, any extra armor of any kind. They look to be in their regular uniforms as they investigate this, this vehicle. We also know from Capitol Police that three people were detained. Our partners at CNN are reporting that three people were actually arrested for weapons, firearms, illegal firearms, uh, while police continue to investigate what they are calling a suspicious vehicle here on the east side of the Capitol. About the only other thing we can tell you for sure is that we've heard from multiple people who were in the area when this all started, some in the Library of Congress, some walking near the Supreme Court. And they all told us that police came through, told them they had a situation and they wanted them out of the area. Several streets remain roped off and blocked off here on the east side of the Capitol. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, so the, the broader issue here is those streets are closed off. We're sure hoping that there's nothing serious going on, but we'll keep checking in with you, hoping for updates.